Okay, all right, okay. All right, we are back at it again. Welcome back to Eddie B TV. I'm, of course, Eddie B. Nice to meet you. And we are back at you again with another reaction video today. And we are going to come at you with some Gabriel Iglesias. Now, this dude kills me. You know what I mean? I remember seeing his first special where he was talking about I'm not fat, I'm fluffy. <laughs> well, you know, it's one way to look at it, Gabe. But we're going to give that one to you because you're funny as a motherfucker, man. We're going to get into one that they called Gift Basket. Hmm. I have heard this story, uh, heard of this story before. Uh, just never got around to watching it. And it was on uh, one of his more... I don't know how recent this special was, but yeah, we're going to get into this one. It's called The Gift Basket by Gabriel Iglesias. And if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to your boy. Keep everything going. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, that's all she wrote, so we're going to get into it. Oh, man. Thank y'all for joining me again. You know what I mean? It's been, it's been very fun so far. And uh, hopefully we keep it all going. So yes, like I said, we're going to get into this one. Gabriel Iglesias, Gift Basket, right here on ADB TV. Find um, a very special way to close out this event. And uh, I thought it would be great <coughs> if I could tell an old story that was from years ago that never made it to a one-hour special. And uh, the cool part about this story is that it, it now has a different ending. Okay. <laughs> the story is called The Gift Basket. Some of you know it, some of you don't know it, but after this, you're never going to forget it. Okay. Memories. All you have to know about this story is that all the people involved have always been and will continue to be friends. That being said, Martin and I. Martin, I've heard that all name. All good ones start like that. Martin and I are scheduled to perform <laughs> in Northern California. Usually we fly, but this particular day I was having a problem with Southwest Airlines. They wanted me to pay for an extra seat for someone who wasn't traveling with me. Take your time, you'll figure it out. <laughs> anyway, I tell Martin, I'm not paying for an extra seat. Let's just drive, it's six hours. <laughs> so we headed north. Three hours into the drive, we're passing through a city called Fresno. And as we're passing, hey, Fresno 559, get us away. Anyway, <laughs> as we're passing through Fresno, we start seeing billboards off the side of the freeway that said, performing this weekend at the Radisson Hotel directly from BET's Comic View and Showtime at the Apollo, comedian G. Riley. And I look at Martin, I go, oh shoot, G's in town. And Martin goes, yeah, I haven't seen G in years. So we're like, let's stop by the hotel and say hi. So we pull into the parking lot. We walk in, I tell Martin, he doesn't know we're here. I'm gonna crank call his room. He goes, what are you gonna say? I said, I'm gonna tell him that I'm the front desk and that he just received a gift basket. What's so funny about a gift basket? I said, <laughs> I'm going to describe it over the phone. And I'm going to make all the items that are in this imaginary basket become items that stereotypically a black person might like. <laughs> You're crazy. I said, I'll tell you what, we got two hours to kill. How about this? How about we go to the supermarket and we make an actual racist gift basket? <laughs> we'll have it delivered and we'll wait outside to see what happens. I said, are you down? <laughs> We go to a store and we, we down. start to design the sickest <laughs> practical joke ever. I get a shopping cart and I'm like, all right, we need a basket. So I find one. I take out the grass, the plastic eggs, and the chocolate rabbits. And we start hitting the aisles. First item I grab is a fried chicken about that big. Okay? <laughs> See how fried that chicken. was? <laughs> There's a few black people in here like, motherfucker, this better be funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gonna be funny. It's hysterical. <laughs> Let me just finish the story and then you can turn it in the parking lot. So anyway, then I <laughs> hand me a miniature watermelon and I put it next to the fried chicken. Here's where it gets interesting. What? Employees of the store find out what we're doing and they start volunteering to help us finish the basket. Half of the employees were black, which made it so much more accurate. <laughs> uh, okay. I, I, one guy was stocking a shelf. He was an older white guy. We're like, sir, can you help us? What do you need? 
my buddy Martin and I are trying to make this messed up racist gift basket for our black friend as a practical joke. Can you think of something we can put in there? Without even blinking an eye, the guy was like, ah, you gotta have Kool-Aid. <laughs> the right malt liquors and XL over in the back of the store in the freezer section it's on sale two for one by the time we get to the register all these different employees plus oh us God. came up with the basket that had fried chicken watermelon kool-aid grape soda barbecue potato chips sunflower seeds an ebony magazine a chris rock dvd called bigger and blacker magnets <laughs> newport cigarettes a rack of ribs the recipe for cornbread it was getting bigger oh. and bigger, and bigger. <laughs> icing on the cake we find a greeting card that's on clearance from halloween and it has a picture of three ghosts on the cover wearing sheets oh god <laughs> i tap the half that says happy halloween and on the back of the card i write welcome to fresno love the chamber of commerce <laughs> and we stick it to the basket we made it all nice and pretty and we haul ass to the hotel <laughs> we pull up we walk in, the basket is hot as hell, so I'm racing in. I get inside and I put it on the counter as fast as I can, bro. It's too perfect. There's a black girl behind the front desk. As soon as I put the basket down, I hear. Want some of that chicken, man? Is that chicken? Ooh, let me see, hold on. <laughs> what is it? Let me explain. My name is Gabriel. This is Martin. <clears throat> we're a couple of comedians and we're about to play a really crazy practical joke on a friend of ours who's staying here tonight by the name of G. Riley, who's also a comedian. Oh, the one that's on the signs on the freeway. Yeah, the one that's on the signs on the freeway. So as a practical joke, we went to the store and we made this messed up racist gift basket. That's, <laughs> that's why you can smell fried chicken. <laughs> and she was like, what? <laughs> you need Jesus, that's what you need. <laughs> Kiki, girl, you better hang up that phone. You ain't gonna believe what I'm looking at over here, girl. Kiki. Listen, hysterical if we could have you deliver the basket for us. She lost it. Oh, the hell you didn't. I know you didn't just ask me to take that to a black man. You are out your damn mind. Oh, Lord, Lord, give me the strength. To not kill this big ass Mexican over here. <laughs> mm -mm. That's accurate. <laughs> uh -uh. Okay, look here, Nacho Libre. I don't care who you are. I am not doing it. Hell no. I'll give you 50 bucks. Where that motherfucker at? Name your price. <laughs> give me that cash. I'll drop it off. <laughs> We follow her to the hotel room. She knocks on the door. Martin and I hide by the elevator on the floor. She knocks, she opens the door, sees a beautiful black woman standing there with a gift basket. This is for you, baby. He says, thank you, closes the door. She walks away and she sees us on the ground hiding, right? And she's like, y'all still going to hell. <laughs> we get up and we walk over to the door and we put our ear, listen, shh, listen. This is what we hear inside <laughs> Woo! chicken <laughs> oh, kool-aid he's getting excited over every single item he's pulling out of the basket he gets to the greeting card what can a fresno love the chamber of commerce hell yeah then we feel him flipping the card over because his voice changed he's like oh yeah man this is what the fuck <laughs> Outside the door, we heard racist bastards. <laughs> when we heard racist bastards, we lost it. Ah! Housekeeping is freaking out. ¿Qué está pasando allá? ¿Qué andan haciendo? <laughs> Muchacho, ¿qué está pasando, gordito? ¿Qué andas haciendo? We're laughing, we're crying, we got boogers coming out. We can't take it anymore. We knock on the door. He yells, who is it? Too easy. Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> <laughs> he rushes the door. I put my finger on the peephole so he can't see who it is, right? The knob starts to jiggle, then the door explodes open, and he's like, What? And he sees us, and he's like, Ah! What's up, G? Man, y'all give a brother a heart attack. 
Did you like your basket? Man, that was messed up. Did you like it? Man, I love all that shit. Damn right. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, a story that has been seven years in the making. I would like for you to now hear, for the first time ever, the other side of that story. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I flew him here to Hawaii so that he can share this with you. Give it okay. for my friend, Mr. G. Right. There he is. <laughs> hey, I got a black shirt that kind of looks just like the one G. Riley's wearing. Okay. What's up, brother? <laughs> I, I got to be honest. I didn't know it was racist. I thought it was lunch. <laughs> I'm hungry. Until I got back to my neighborhood, and brothers in my neighborhood looked at me, they say, man, I, I don't believe you let that Mexican guy do that to you, man. That was messed up. I know you got him back. I said, what, buy him lunch? I can't afford to buy that man lunch. <laughs> if, I, if I buy him lunch, he'll be getting me again. But you gotta understand, it was the perfect set of circumstances when it happened. Because I'm laying across the bed in the hotel. I ain't never been to Fresno before. And I wanted something to eat, and I didn't know where to go eat. So I'm laying across the bed, and I'm saying to myself, where could I go eat? I wish I had some food. And all of a sudden, magically, there's a knock on the door, and a black girl shows up with a gift basket. And I took the gift basket, and I said, they know how to treat their comedians up here in Fresno. <laughs> and I walk into the bed, and I can feel the heat, and I can smell the chicken from the gift basket. And I'm like, oh, this is cool. Because nobody smells chicken and thinks of racism, right? Nope. <laughs> you hear that same thing all the time. Chicken is chicken and it's amazing for all races. I see the watermelon. I'm like, oh, this is cool. They know how to treat a comedian up in here. I get to the card and I look at the card and I go, what the fuck is going on? I said, oh my God, I'm working for the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> <laughs> and I really, I really started to panic because in my head, I'm saying to myself, is this for real? Because there were billboards all over the city with my picture. And I started thinking they were trying to scare me out of town. Damn. So now I don't know what to do, right? And I start trying to call a promoter and the promoter's not answering the phone and it's festering in my head and I'm nervous and I'm pacing in the room and all of a sudden there's a knock on the door, right? And I go, oh my God, they come to get me. <laughs> so, I, so I ease over to the door, right? And I look through the peephole, right? And all I see is a brown dot, right? And I go, I, I hear somebody out there because I hear the breathing, right? I hear. So this was about 60 pounds ago, right? I, oh, that's funny. So I go to look down up under the door, right? And I say, oh my God, it got to be about five or six of them out there. Oh my God. Damn. Five, six of them. Gabriel, he said you a fat motherfucker. <laughs> so I figure like this. I figure, okay, you know what? If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. You know, if it's going to happen, I'm going to go down swinging, right? So I put my best black face on. You know, I, I tried to look mean. You know, I look, I look like this guy right here. I look like that guy right here. <laughs> and I go, who is it? And they go, Chamber of Commerce. And I'm like, oh my God, the Chamber of Commerce is the Ku Klux Klan. And I'm panicking, so I get to the door, right? And I pull the, open, the door open, and when the door opens up, these guys are falling all over the hall, laughing at me. They're rolling all into the cleaning lady's car. The cleaning lady didn't know what was going on, right? She's scared to dust, because she sees a black dude with no shirt like this, so she grabs the lemon pledge like it's pepper spray, right? She grabs <laughs> practical joke. 
everything calms down, because I remember that I remember how hungry I was. I'm like, okay, cool. Practical joke, right? So I go in the bathroom to wash my hands. While I'm in the bathroom washing my hands, I hear a commotion in the other room. Right? I go back in the other room. They're going through the gift basket. The maid is leaving with the watermelon. Martina's drinking my 40. And this fluffy bastard is eating my chicken! <laughs> somebody so ah, good thing it was just a gift basket <laughs> but yeah <laughs> that was funny as hell so that was Gabriel Iglesias and G Riley at the end so uh, shout out to G Riley man he was funny as hell and uh, that was the gift basket man and that was funny as hell so um, woo, that was a really good story I really liked it I don't get too many fun stories like that no more but that was a good one and uh, if you like that reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe to your boy. Like I said, keep everything going. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that was a good. Uh, that was a good one today. And uh, this is gonna be Eddie B TV signing off one more time. And I uh, love and appreciate y'all. Peace. <laughs>